What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Talking Wrestling TV, back at it again tonight with your Survivor Series 2019 review. And guys, I'm going to be straight up honest. Tonight's Survivor Series probably was WWE's best pay-per-view out of the entire 2019, guys. All the main roster shows that WWE has done will not be able to top this year's Survivor Series, guys. Outside of that main event, this was a damn good show, guys. I thought that those women should not have been in the main event of Survivor Series. That's just my opinion. But again, it was a damn good show, guys. First match tonight will be the traditional women's tag team matchup at Survivor Series between Team Raw, Team SmackDown, and Team NXT. And it would be Team NXT with Rhea Ripley defeating Sasha Banks in that match to get the win for Team NXT in the first match tonight at Survivor Series. Pretty good way to open up the show, guys. And I'm glad NXT started out the night with a big win. Our next match will be the triple threat match with the Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura, the North American Champion, Roger Strong, and the United States Champion, AJ Styles, in a pretty damn good triple threat match, guys. But it would be Roger Strong picking up the big win, guys. Thanks to, really, AJ Styles putting his move on Shinsuke Nakamura, but Roger Strong making a smart move Throwing AJ Styles out the ring, picking up the win. Big, big win for Roger Strong, North American champion. I like that man. I really think that Roger Strong has a bright, bright future in all of WWE as well as NXT as well, guys. Our next match will be Pete Dunne versus Adam Cole for the NXT championship and probably what would be the best match of the entire night and probably a match of the year candidate in my view. Those two men tore the house down tonight in Chicago, and I'm sure all the fans in attendance tonight got their money worth in that matchup, but it would be Adam Cole picking up a hard fought win in an instant classic after what both men went through last night at NXT TakeOver, and to come out and have one hell of a match like that, hats off to both men. Adam Cole, Still your NXT champion, guys. The Fiend Bray Wyatt in our next match defends the WWE Universal title against Daniel Bryan and pretty much a squash match of Daniel Bryan in my view. It was a pretty decent match, though, but it would be the Fiend Bray Wyatt getting his revenge on Daniel Bryan from Daniel Bryan turning on him a long time ago in the Wyatt family, guys. This Bray Wyatt Fiend character, I'm really liking this character, guys. I don't know what WWE is going to have in store here moving forward with the Fiend Bray Wyatt, but I just hope they don't overdo it and overbook him, guys. Next match will be the men's Team Raw versus SmackDown versus NXT matchup, guys, and this will be another great match. But it would be, you already know, Roman Reigns picking up the win for Team SmackDown, defeating Keith Lee, who had one hell of a showing in this match, guys. Keith Lee tonight brought his A-game and showed me why he is one of the best up-and-coming wrestlers in all of NXT, guys. After that, we would see the WWE Championship matchup between Rey Mysterio and Brock Lesnar, guys. And Going into this match, I didn't really know how WWE would book a no holds barred match with Brock Lesnar and Rey Mysterio. It was pretty well booked. I just didn't like the way the match ended, guys. Having Rey Mysterio's son come out and try to help him and one L5 pretty much just squash Rey Mysterio. And at this point, he really do need to go ahead and retire, guys. But nevertheless, Brock Lesnar is still your WWE champion. The main event match tonight will be the triple threat match for, well, it wasn't for the title, but for brand supremacy with NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch and SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley in a triple threat match that guys I will say it was not that good of a match guys the ending was pretty good but this match had no business being in the main event nevertheless Shayna Baszler picked up the win tapping out Bayley tonight and after the match as Shayna Baszler was celebrating on the announce table Becky Lynch attacked her and put her through the table 
and just bickering out at the mouth, saying that she's the man and she runs WWE, guys. Who would ever thought at this point, Becky Lynch would still be holding the Raw Women's title, knowing that she wanted at WrestleMania. She's had her title, along with Seth Rollins, had his at the winning at WrestleMania, and Kofi Kingston, guys. I wish Ronda Rousey would come back, Nia Jax, or somebody, and put an end to Becky Lynch, because her time is up, in my view. But hats off to Shayna Baszler, picking up the win tonight, and NXT proved why they are the true and alternative brand in all of professional wrestling, guys. Hats off to NXT. It's your boy, Talking Wrestling TV, coming in and giving my quick thoughts on the Survivor Series 2019, guys. The best pay-per-view WWE has done all year long, in my view. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn that bell on for all notifications, guys. I'm out.